They can always buy an apartment for 500 animals easy. Really? Oh, yeah. This is like my favorite place ever. Um, I feel like I wish the mayor of Ulaanbaatar would uh, come and run New York. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Mongolia is just a country of contrasts. It's really interesting, and it's going through a major shift right now. So it used to be pretty much all nomadic. But now people are moving by the thousands into the capital where heavy industry is remaking the culture. They call it Mongolia because there's so much mining to be done, and it's attracted a lot of money and a lot of people who are growing wealthy off of it. So it is a little crazy that in a country where the average salary is $8,800 a year, You've got stores like Louis Vuitton, and this one is apparently one of the highest grossing Louis Vuittons per capita in the world. Yep, Louis Vuitton handbags are flying out of Mongolian stores. The sudden onset of wealth had the recent rich buying sports cars before there were even roads to drive them on. But in the shadows of the new high rises and opulence, 60% of Ulaanbaatar lives in a tent city known as the Gur district where annual salaries aren't even enough to buy a Louis Vuitton wallet. It's so funny because in the countryside, yeah. it seems natural and it seems clean and it yes. seems lovely. Yes. And here, this is just poverty struck and so not natural. In a city where a chosen few are choosing between Burberry and Chanel, it's crazy to think that most people live without running water, sewage, or central heating. The city literally chokes on its extreme pollution. Well, everybody would happily move into oh, such really? okay. apartment blocks because they, have, they don't have to make fire anymore. They don't have to right. carry water anymore. But what's truly amazing is even as Mongolia tries to modernize, the old traditions are still alive and well in Ulaanbaatar. You can even buy an apartment using livestock instead of cash. They can always buy an apartment for 500 animals easy. Really? Oh, yeah. Table. One of these apartments two is bedrooms. 500 animals? Yeah, two bedrooms for 500 animals. This is like my favorite place ever. But as you can imagine, moving 60% of the city isn't easy. Even as the government fast-tracks their plan to turn this boomtown into a modern city, construction can't keep up with demand. When will all these be done? Um, the government is planning for about five years' time will be finished, but it very much depends on the economy as well. Former nomads are used to tent life and are fine staying on their land until real estate investors sweeten the pot. Are you holding out for a bigger apartment, or do you want, even want an apartment? Do you want to stay in the gear? So how long do you think it'll take a couple years, or? Ulaanbaatar is changing so fast, it'll be unrecognizable in five or 10 years. But hopefully, the changes will benefit the whole city, and some of Mongolia's traditional culture will survive as well. On the next Abroad Abroad, in the Gobi Desert, it all looks the same, but is it stone or bone? You gotta lick it to find out.